Uh. We wait. Do I have another mirror? Big dumb. Do I do the chains now, maybe? They're not hot. I can carry him this way. Aha! There we go. Is this okay? Yeah, that should be fine. Chains are ready now. And then... And then now I burn something? Am I big dumb? Or do Hmm. <clears throat> uh I have I don't I don't what do I do? Should I just use every item? What the fuck? Flashlight. Fire report. <laughs> I, gotta, I gotta sacrifice a kid. That's the only thing. Right, will we ever find out, dude? What the fuck? I... I don't understand. That's not what I want. Why, why do I look so angry? Those creepy ass dolls. Fucking. I wish. It's not like. Like. Let me burn it! But it's like, nah, dog, that ain't me. Am I, like, missing something? I don't understand. Mm. There's gotta be... Like, am I just stupid? <laughs> don't answer that. Laughing all the way. What 
What's 9 plus 10? 19? Are they? I don't... I don't understand. I've used everything, haven't I? Melted stick. 21. Oh shit, my god. What the f What the f what? I'm actually like I I don't get it. Oh. There we go. Is that what I had to do? Oh, okay, we got it. I'm ready to do the Demon Sukuyomi ritual. I need to do is say the magic words that I wish for. How about that your curse is lifted? Oh, yeah. I'll go with that then. What am I burning? Please come here. Making a silent wish for the curse on me to be released. I call forth the Demon Sukuyomi. What feels like an eternity of silence passed, suddenly the room darkens and I feel cold. Everything is enveloped in a strange stillness. It's like the only person in the whole world. That feeling settles over me. A small lump of flesh appears out of thin air. Weird lumps grow rapidly all over until it's suddenly a huge mass of flesh. This is the demon Tsukuyomi. Dude, what the fuck? It's completely disgusting. My whole body shudders. That's not the spirit I was imagining. Yeah, this is a fucking Nani the fuck, bro. I didn't think it'd be this, this horrible. So what were you imagining? Run away screaming if you're scared. You think you're being funny? I ran after coming this far, I couldn't call myself an occult idol. Plus, we both know it'd be a problem if I left you on your own devices and you got reckless. I know you're stuck with me until it's over. Sounds like they're crying? Uh, uh. Some kind of dark surge attacks me. It roils like burning hatred. Shit, what am I supposed to do? Grant, grant, grant. Grant? Like a wish? But what what wish am I supposed to grant? I was super excited for it. What? Looking forward to what? You understand? Didn't that voice that said Grant sound like an adult? Yeah, it did. And the one that said Wanya sounded more like a kid. That mean, a parent wanting to grant a kid's wish? Something a kid wants from their parents. Yeah, but I think of what it... Sorry. It's up to us to figure out the rest. Uh-oh! So a parent wants to grant a kid's wish. Grant that then. Uh oh. 
scene. Uno. Oh! Uh. Wait. There are so many of them. Okay, so Jennifer, I'm assuming, is that doll. I, I do like the music. So, Jennifer, Gorilla... Gundam thing? Jennifer, Gorilla, Gundam, and then, then maybe the top left is the stick? at all, huh? No idea if I got it right or not. Let's do something about all of them first. Yeah! Buy me a big fucking monkey, please. A reaction again. Maybe I need to give things all the faces first, like that's what he said. Yeah! Pew, pew, boom, bang! I give it the shotgun. I think this one is... Yeah! Well, let's hope that works. I've given something to every face. All I can do now is wait for a reaction. Yeah! Thanks, Dad! It's Jennifer! Thanks, Mom! Apparently I got the second face right too. Yeah, it's Kaiser Robot! Kaiser Punch! Yeah. Mom? Mom? This is it, Mom! Wah! Huh? Oh, we died. Azuki! Anchor out of the way of the chains. You okay? Yeah. Thanks, Cloud. Hey, man, we can't do anything when it's like this. Run! Wait, so did I get it right or not? I think that angry face was the only wrong one. What should we do now? We knew what it wanted. That's the one that was talking about its mom, right? Yeah. <laughs> Demon Tsukuyomi doesn't sound very far away. Must be chasing us. We lack better get out of here. Where can we go? Use the elevator to go back where we were. We'll figure out what it wants in the meantime. Yes, well, we have no other choice. So, am I okay? Like, even though I got one wrong? I lean into the elevator. All I run straight to the door and press the button. What? What's wrong? You better open it fast. It's gonna catch us. I pushed it, but it won't open. I jam my thumb on the button again and again, but the thing still doesn't open. Has it caught up to us? I haven't seen it yet. I have some time even if it does appear. It's pretty far from the sales floor to here. Pep talk is appreciated, but if we stay stuck like this, we'll be up shit creek. Ah, damn it! Fine, if you're gonna be that way. Stupid door is pissing me off. I grip the edges and try to force it open. Ah! Realizing what I'm trying to do, OA jumps in and helps me out. Oh, fuck. That's terrifying. No way. 
Shit, I was careless. Hurry, hurry, it's gonna kill us! Yeah, it gives me the extra strength I need to and the door cracks open. Yes! I slip my hand into the crack crack crap. Force it open. Open! Alright, go, get inside! Masuki runs in, followed by Oa. Yeah, I just gave it the entire Christmas tree. So I'm sure they made it. I slip inside too. Dude, what the fuck? Close the door now. Oa smashes the button on the panel. It's the heck no use. The door won't close because it's calling the Doom and Tsuki only. Uh, you're giving up after we made it this far. Move! Raw! I kick Demon Tsukiyo with all my might. The heat burns the sole of my shoe, filling the elevator with the smell of burnt rubber. She's just enough that the door manages to close. Did I want to do that? Whoa, hack nicely done, Cloud. <laughs> We're going up? Well, it seems so. Hope we can go back down. That's up to luck. At least we're safer now. I never would have imagined you'd kick a spirit. Just faster that way. I guess so. Too bad that didn't make it rest in peace. <sighs> Only it was that easy. So did I mess up? Am I about to sneeze and have my game crash? Next to Moon Terror's roof, we rush out onto the terrace. Oh my. The hell's up with the moon? After we left the department store, we should be back at Moon Tower. Did Tsukuyomi do this? Uh, it's not over yet. If Demon Tsukuyomi's in the one controlling the moon, then it'll be here soon. What do we do, Cloud? <sighs> Can't just poof ideas out of thin air, you know. Well, we just gotta do something about that last face, right? Which face? You know, the one that was all, this isn't mom or whatever. All the others seem satisfied. They want their mom, huh? That reminds me of Yamato Shrine. Those babies were able to rest in peace. If you're able to, if you're able to reminisce, then use that brain to get thinking and help us out. Wait. I think cell phones could work in the spirit realm or whatever. Whoa, that's like me. It's Bond. Maybe Okayama's things revealed something. Hey, it's me. I'm kinda in the middle of something right now. What? You serious? I'm on there too. No, it's nothing. Just talking to myself. Well, if there's nothing else, I gotta go. We got our hands full at the moment. We'll talk later. Bye. <sighs> I can't believe it. You seem excessively shocked over something. Got some amazing info or what? Yep, it's a doozy. Remember, remember the name that was scratched off the memorial there? Well, that name was Masaru Ishimaru. Oh, I wonder if it was Ishimaru's son. Yep. Oh, and like Masaru is Noboru, 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 Ishimaru's second son. That's not all. According to Okuyama's notebook. Masaru Ishimaru was the one who caused the fire. What? Seriously? That's just Okoyama's own conclusion after she contested an investigation alone. The gun found at the scene couldn't have belonged to just any random schmuck. What caused her to be suspicious of Masaru? He is notorious for his violence and his habit of abducting people. As influence prevented him from ever getting arrested, though. He was the arsonist. The one who sacrificed all those people for the demon Tsukuyomi was... Yeah. It had to be him. Masaru Ishimaru. The thin man with the gun, who I saw standing in the kid's plaza during my vision. Must have been Masaru Ishimaru. <sighs> Don't let his father off the hook, though. He knew what his son lacked to do, so he must have guessed who was the arsonist was. Still added his son's name to the list of victims without any abandoned eye. Counted as a victim, it's harder to investigate him. Must have buys a whole lot of sympathy, too. Well, they're both pieces of shit. Yeah, complete garbage. Guess someone agreed because the name on the memorial is scratched out. Well, if Ishimaru died in the fire, then he probably, then he's probably a part of Demon Tsukuyomi too. It means even in death, the victims are stuck with the guy who killed them. If you beat him, the victims should rest in peace. How do we do that? Well, that's your department, dude, bruh. <sighs> Before we beat him, we gotta find him. 
Oh, well, oh, there he is. Hey, Cloud, I think our time's run out. Man, you're a persistent bastard. How to follow us? How the fuck should I know? Now that it has, there's only one thing to do. Finish it, here and now. Masaru Ishimaru should be in that thing somewhere. I find him. I have no clue. I don't even know where to begin. I doubt it has to do anything with that. Help me, Mom! Dad, it's hot. It's so hot. Ha, <laughs> that's hot. I'm scared. I'm scared, Mom. What? I honestly have no clue. Ha, <laughs> that's hot. That's hot. <laughs> What if I just flashlight the memorial? Alright. <laughs> Fucking, what a dumbass thing to think. Idiot. <laughs> Dude, I don't know. It's hot. Dude, what? Oh, I actually did something? Oh, I didn't want to do that! <laughs> oh, maybe I do show him the fire report. <laughs> Bad end. Chill, my I didn't want to do that. I didn't know what it was going to do. What the fuck? Yeah, I'm apparently insane. I, I literally just stabbed a kid in the eye. That is not what I wanted to happen. Do I do something that wants its mom? Right? What do I show them though? Will the fire report actually do it? It's like, hey, you're dead. Or some shit. I don't know. Pretty gnarly, yeah. <laughs> Maji? This has so much sugar in it. <clears throat> so it's gotta be the one that's like... Crying for mom, maybe? I don't know. Uh, 
I don't even know what things I have. Maybe I should check first. This one says dad. This one says mom. Do any of the other ones say mom? Oh. 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 Wait, this one's the only one that says dad. So... Hold on, what do I have? That's not what I wanted. That's not what I wanted either. Fuck. Uh... Dude, I barely have anything. It's gotta be the fire report, right? I'll show the one that's like, Dad, it's hot. Dad, it's hot. He's the man in the mirror. I don't have the mirror. Dude, what? Did I, did I fuck up? Just cut it in half with the katana. Wait, that worked? Did that actually work? I'm so confused. Is this even doing anything? Oh! How dare you. It hurls out his chest. God damn it. Stop, stop it, he's already dead. Well, now I know that it's the top right one, right? Right? Like... Am I... Am I stupid? Like, it's the top right, right one, right? Um, God, I think I fucked up, dude. Ugh, guys, I don't know. Uh, hold on. Switch chat? Okay. That was weird. I like re-disconnected from chat for a second. So I think it's the top right one. So you know what we're gonna do? Get a nothing personal kid it. Nothing personal kid! I'm gonna be like, I'm gonna be like, gonna have my katana, gonna be like, whoosh, and then I'm gonna be like, it's nothing personal, kid. And then he's just gonna explode in blood. It's gonna be, it's gonna be insane. Just watch, just watch. Yo. Mudgy? I wonder if I fucked up at the beginning. Well, we beat it. We got I like how the moon looks in this one. I think it looks... Really pretty. Ah, ah that's fucking disgusting. Alright, you guys ready for this? You guys ready for this no nothing personal kid? Mm 
No, I'm gonna keep trying. Here, yeah, full of shit. Yeah, peculiar peach should work against her mortal enemy, Masaru Ishimaru. Sorry if I get it wrong. Oh! You're Masaru Ishimaru! I was terrified in this should be. It draws a smirk out of me and I confidently hit the weapon. I dash forward aiming at Ishimaru's face. Get fucked, idiot! Oh shit, did I get fucked? Uh... I dodged every last one of them. Die, Ishimaru! Once close enough, I push hard off the ground, jump high into the air. I slice the katana from bottom to top. Ishimaru flinches in fear. Blood splurts everywhere, getting all over me. Okay, so I have his blood on me then. Huh? For a second, a familiar place flashes in view. I'm sure that's... There's no time for that right now. Gotta do something about him. <sighs> Legend, that's it. His physical attacks won't take it down. Any other ideas, Hazuki? Need something supernatural or do some kind of ritual. Black. We can't do that kind of stuff. The fastest way would be listen... Be to listen to his wish? Black, don't be stupid. There's no one here. We need to grant his wish. What are we supposed to do? Know where the spirit starts moaning. Arv? Saying carve? I have no idea what it means. I really have to grant Masaru Ishimaru's wish? I'm just running out. Or right, I do, my best chance is while it's still stunned. I'm assuming I use the black blood. Do I use it on the thing? On this thing? Do you think that it's kind of like a magic ritual? Um, it's possible the spiritual bonds have weakened because a portion has been scratched out. That bond is restored. What is this thing? I know, right? Mitsukiyomi might find peace. Hold on, what does the black blood even do? It feels like ink! Maybe I can write something? Alright, alright. Blank spot on the memorial. What's wrong? Has an evil ghost possessed you or something? Nothing. Just thinking we might need to engrave something in that blank space on the memorial. Oh! name, right? Yeah, exactly. We need to add a name. The problem is... This name we should engrave, right? <clears throat> yeah. The fuck? Obviously Tomoko, right? Because they all killed Tomoko, right? Or am I stupid? Uh, well... Let's see. He should be listed as a victim too. Tomoko Okayama. Who is that? The name of the woman who lost her husband and child in the fire you set. She was killed by her old man when she tried to reveal the truth behind the fire. So, uh, yeah, get fucked, idiot! I mean, he doesn't even care. Oh, okay, maybe not. Maybe I'm big dumb. Dude, we had the same reaction. Oh! <laughs> Someone I don't know. Someone I don't know inside me. What? What are you? What are you going to do to me? Oh, is it Killer Peach? 
justice is served, motherfucker. I heard that voice somewhere before. The mythological Momotaro must have uh, been guided by the name written on this memorial. Crossing time and space to exterminate evil. Oh shit! Dude, that was fucking sick. Fucking easy? Wait, I got the Annihilation. Is that bad? Do I have to start over? Those grateful cries from people mixed in with the sound of the wind. <laughs> I knew it, Mama really is Momotaro. Child's voice pipes up among them, proudly boasting about their mother. Did I do good or did I do bad? Uh It seemed like it was good? It it's it looked happy, right? Um it's, it's gotta be good, right? Well if not, I might my game might be crashing. It's been been not running well, right? You did great. Your face says your curse was lifted. Yeah, guess I managed to survive again. Even Tsukuyomi disappeared, but it didn't leave a pool of blood behind. Guess that makes sense. I already got Ami out. Speaking of blood, blood flew out when I cut the demon Tsukuyomi with the katana. It's only a flash, but I saw a vision of the attic in the Miroku residence. Why did that place appear? Better check it out. Touch the blood on my clothes and concentrate. Well, if somebody dies, my game might have an accident. Let's just say that. Oh, shit. <laughs> wow. Nice work there. First thing I hear is the young man's voice. The arsonist, Masaru Ishimaru. I was... That was captivating. Truly. It's going full criminal to kidnap a kid really was worth it after all. Masaru, I allowed you to watch. You continue to say things like that. I have to ask you to leave. Man in white monk robes replies coldly. His voice sounds familiar too. It's gotta be Yakumo Miroku, the author who turned girls into dolls. No, don't be like that. Old man, without my Pops' power, you'd be behind bars right now. Yes, I'm extremely grateful to Noboru. It's entirely due to the Ishimaru family's cooperation. I am able to fulfill my duty. The Nagoshi no Gi ritual, or that Nagoshi no Gi ritual, or whatever, yeah? Oh, sounds like a mouthful. Why not shorten it to... Uh... NG. Uh, sounds like a name a child would choose. Masaru, please refrain from saying anything that draws the interest of the Kaguya doll. The seal's in the process of weakening. She may be listening at this very moment. Oh, now that's scary. You better hurry up and finish making her playmate. Hmm? Hey, what's this? That? Oh, that? Oh, since I'm the last accessor of the Miroku family. Well, it's just junk now. Oh, I suppose you being a wrinkly old man means you're not interested in getting it on anymore, huh? <laughs> it would look that way to you. For since I lost the power of my hands in an accident, giving up on ordinary happiness. What do you mean, power of your hands? of my hands held a special power. Power to bestow was one of them. I would use it to bestow spiritual power into that doll. Give it to her. So does that mean because you lost your power? That's why you're killing kids and making them into dolls? It's up to you whether you believe me or not. <laughs> oh, I believe you. I love stories like that. 
anyway. What about you, Masaru? Huh? Well, what about me? Will you marry and have a happy family? Noboru would surely be pleased if you had a child. Hmm. Would mom be happy in heaven, too? You're still hung up on Yoko. Of course I am! Pops only shoves money at me! Actually loved me. She's my everything! Even now, forever! I always want to relive that time when mom was around. I see. Ishimaru's strange outburst. Miroku stops and frowns. It would be nice to go back to the past you long for. By the way, old man, you write scary fairy tales, yeah? So, well, I guess that means you're an expert on the occult, right? Yes, to some extent. What about it? I want to ask you something. Did you tell me about that demon Tsukiyomi thing? What? The boundless. The arsonist Ishimaru abducted girls in Yakumo Miro who turned each of them into dolls. It lines up with what's written in the Nagoshi no Gi book I found at the Black Rabbit. Plus, that strange doll Ishimaru grabbed. That was... It was the doll I picked up at the Miroku residence. You look pretty serious, Cloud. Is something wrong? No, it's... nothing. I'm still trying to process everything I just saw. No way I can explain it right now. Well then, we survived by the skin of our teeth, but we can take a breather later. Let's get the hell out of here before someone finds that we broke in. Right, let's go. Well, we'll find out if somebody dies before the end of the night, so... And if anybody dies... We're gonna go back. We're like not gonna go someplace weird again, are we? It'll be fine. Probably. The demon Tsukuyomi was the one causing time to reverse, and we shouldn't be led to the scene of the fire again. I press the button for the first floor, and the elevator quietly starts moving. <clears throat> I really think I might have messed up, guys. Because it said, like, the achievement I got was Annihilation not purification or whatever but i wonder if like it was because i annihilated miroku and the other ones were fine so i'm i'm not sure because it seemed like they were happy right the elevator reaches the first floor without any issue oh good we made it back okay all right come on we don't got time to be staying around let's get going Oi makes it clear that she wants to be out of this place, so we leave. Yeah, so I'm like, spooked, dude. Whew, well, we should be safe here. Good job, you two. That was like a piece of cake. Dancing up on stage is a hundred times more tiring. Huh? What's that face for? Something's bugging me. What exactly was that demon Tsukiyomi we saw? I mean, it was obviously a fusion of the people who died in the fire, right? No, I, I get that, but... But the Demon Tsukuyomi ritual itself existed way before the fire, right? It doesn't have ties to this event. Oh, that's what you're talking about. You're wondering if that was the real Demon Tsukuyomi or not. Yeah, pretty much. We were originally trying to summon the Demon Tsukuyomi, and that thing appeared. Let's put together what we know first. The arsonist, Masaru Ishi uh, Ishimaru. Tried to summon the demon Tsukuyomi by sacrificing people. Wish was to bring back his dead mother. She also, uh, she's also the late wife of President Ishimaru of the Sumi Group. She's still quite dead. I confirmed that when I was investigating the Sumi Group. In other words, his wish to the demon Tsukuyomi wasn't granted. To be honest with you, the names of the achievements are so vague. Oh no! Well, if anybody dies, I'm just gonna go back. So, we'll, we'll just see what happens. This is just a what if, but maybe a wish was granted, but it wasn't Ishimaru's wish. So whose was it? 
victims killed by Ishimaru. If 24 people all wished for something, it definitely overpower Ishimaru's voice. And that is situation. But obviously I'll be wishing for the same thing. I don't want to die, huh? Yeah, I think so too. So the real demon Tsukuyomi granted that wish. And created the demon Tsukuyomi we saw. I, I, I guess. So the rumor about the demon Tsukuyomi granting wishes was true. Hmm, I don't know if we can say that for sure. That thing could also just be some mass of hate not connected to the real demon Tsukuyomi. If that's the case, and that nobody's wish was granted in that fire. That would mean the rumors about the demon Tsukuyomi were false. It's that small line between fact and fiction that really fires up an occult fan, you know. Of course, I'd be happiness I'd be happiest if the rumors about the demon Tsukuyomi turned out to be true. I mean, that'd be so much cooler. In the end, people are going to believe what they want to believe. There's no such thing as a correct answer. Well, hey, it's about time that we split up. It ain't a good time for miners to be walking around. Yeah, guess I'll head home. Thanks for everything, no way. <laughs> That's surprisingly decent coming from you. Have you fallen for me? Not in front of Hazuki. Wow, not even a twitch of the eyebrow, huh? You got an impressive poker face. By the way, Cloud, how did Ami's examination go? Oh yeah, I never told you. They found some abnormalities in her brainwave, so she's under examination until tomorrow. And I so, I hope Natsumi gets better so they can go back to their normal lives. Yeah, me too. Almost because of Kafuya's curse, then Ami's not getting her normal life back until I do something about Kafuya. Well, alright then, I'm hitting out. See you guys. Always disappears in the direction of the Spinza station. <laughs> Alright, I'm gonna head back too. My co-worker's apartment. I'm gonna stay at is pretty close to Shinza station. So you're still not going home, huh? Your curse always appears suddenly. It's like it did today. Be bad if I decided to go home and ended up getting locked under up under surveillance again. I was like he's grinning, but I've been constantly causing her trouble for the past few weeks. Huh? What's going on? You're staring. Though I'm used to that in my profession. At first I didn't want to get her involved, but she hadn't been there to help me. I never would have survived this long. I've been a big pain to you. Right. Oh, don't worry about it. I told you I've told you many times, but I'm really into ghosts and the occult and stuff. I'd do anything to get experiences like these. I'd even quit being an idol. If your, if your agency heard that, they'd faint. Hey, can I ask you something? Go right ahead. You'll have to go through the agency if it's about my measurements and weight, though. <laughs> Why'd you become an idol? I don't seem that obsessed with the job. Yeah, it may like look that way. I didn't be become one because it was my dream or aspiration or anything like other people. It's because of the education I got from my mom. He used to be an idol. She trained me for this life ever since I was really young. Though you're not doing it because you like it. <laughs> no, no, it's not like that. I love singing and talking and stuff, and it's so great to have fans. But the word idol doesn't really have a special meaning to me. Like it does for other people. For me, it's more like I took over the family business. You live in one strange household. It's pretty normal to me though. Anyway, since it's basically the family business, I try to be more professional than others. Like how? Uh, recently, I've been doing special training for love scene. I'm a high schooler, so I'll probably start getting more roles like that pretty who knows when I'll get a love scene with the Headless Horseman or the Boogeyman. Gachi base? Neither one of those are human. Yeah, but that's the kind of romance Momokurase would have. Oh, that's right. We did something similar by the vending machine yesterday. That was a pretty good performance. Would you help me practice again sometime? Sure. If I feel like it. Sweet, thanks. Alright, I'm gonna get going. See you later. Azuki darts off in the direction of the taxi. Now that I think of it, a lot of people have helped me get this far. I gaze up at the night sky for a while, picturing all the people who helped me. <laughs> because of your close relationship with Hazuki, Hazuki character file was updated. Because of your close relationship with Ami, Ami was updated. Natsumi, Natsumi was updated. Character file. Clap me! <sighs> Guess I'll get going myself. Nobody's died! So it's. I think I'm doing okay. I go to the station and quickly hop on the last train, heading to Kisoji. After arriving at Kisoji Station, which is deserted at this hour, it's my apartment. Alright, before we head to my apartment, I gotta pee. <laughs> I 
I'm sorry, my bladder is taking over right now. I'll be right back. Give me like two seconds. Bladder. Yeah. I can fight. You guys ready? I'm not. But I feel like something bad is going to happen. Well, let's go. Because it will. Oh, is there another D mail? Haven't I already gotten that though? Oh, text. How are you? Steam man. This will be my final message. My dedication for finding my analysis, of course. I'd like to personally thank you, my true comrade. If you don't mind, come to the gra graveyard's entrance. <sighs> Finally gonna get to see his face. Graveyard. Probably one not far from here. Easy not to go home. I instead head to the place he mentioned. <clears throat> This is the spot D-Man said to be. Don't look like he's here yet. <sighs> Tells me out but doesn't bother to be here, huh? I'm under no obligation to wait. Going home is starting to sound like a good idea just then. <sighs> Man's voice whispers in my ear. I spin around but no one's there. What the fuck? Straight my ears, I try to sense his presence but all I hear is the wind. <sighs> my imagination, I guess. Turn back towards the graveyard. Ah, and he's standing there right in front of me. 
So this is the elusive D-Man. In what world does this look like D-Man? Ashen face, focus eyes, a bloodstained shirt. An aura that can't possibly be human. Is he dead? Is the D in D-Man dead man? I study him as he slowly approaches me. Hello. Did I scare you? Okay, so I managed to impress you a little. I'll take it. <laughs> no. No, ex excuse me. And while I apologize, please allow me to say how nice it is to meet you. This is the first time we've met, but he's being so friendly with me, like I'm a long lost pal. Uh, I guess he's taking a liking to me after sending all those texts. My real name is Hiro Aratama. Sorry to meet you like this, but in life I was a desk editor for Bart's month. Desk man, so D-man. I want to express my thanks to you, but I also have one thing I want to confirm. His cheerful voice suddenly turned serious. Ah, it's about my writings. You always seem so interested in them. To the point, what do you truly want to do? That's what I want to know. Who do you truly wish to become? Pray that you don't disappoint me. Dude, what? <laughs> Fucking easy? You guys doubted me? <sighs> the unknown. I want to explore the untapped world. That was written on the first D card I found. Was it? I bet he wanted me to become a fellow explorer of the untapped world. That'd be the answer he's looking for. Oh, wonderful! You're exactly the man I expected. From now on, the untapped world will welcome you. Nice. I have one last report to give you. Now then, you remain in good health until the day you arrive, the abyss, the untapped world. And with that, he vanishes. Where he was standing is a familiar looking card. I got the achievement, so I'm assuming this is the very last one. I lower my gaze to the writing on the card. Apologies for alarming you earlier. I was so happy to finally meet you, then. That's what I shouldn't have. Who I am is just what I told you before. I'm Hiro Aratama, former desk editor for Uparts Month. Any of my acquaintances, like Mr. K, are familiar with the paranormal. No blame on them, but I often got carried away. That's how I'm like this. I always felt bad about dying. It caused trouble for the editorial department and the magazine's readers. But aside, I'm ecstatic to welcome you as a fellow explorer of the untapped world. I'd like to start out by sharing information with you on Hyaki Yagyo, what we're, uh, what we're currently after. You know what uh, Hyaki Yagyo is? It's the march of evil spirits of rivers and mountains, just like those found in ancient tales of this country. He's a fiction, but the Hyaki Yagyo we're after is it. Do you believe me if I said a large group of spirits like those you face to march along this land of Musashino a long time ago? It's your right and duty to affirm everything paranormal, including my bizarre stories. I don't have to convince you now. Back to Hyakiyagi. We believe at the center of the covered up uh, historical incidents is a certain presence has the power to create dangerous spirits. I'm sure someone has come to mind. Takuya. More accurate, or more accurately, Takuya doll. A doll with similar powers was connected to the Mark case in H City. The Me case? These doll spirits are considered the core of what causes the Hyakiyagi. We assume a death march occurs when doll spirits gather the dead and turn them into spirits. But I don't know much about these dolls yet. All the families from the Edo period associated with dolls have disappeared and passed down items. And passed down items were lost in the war. The only possible lead we might get is for you to ask the doll spirit directly. But you must be very careful. We'll soon reach the end of Kakuya's game. If you observe closely, you'll learn new information. That said, don't end up like me. If worse comes to worse, put your own safety first. Now, I still have much to say to you, but look how I am. Sadly, I have some place I need to be, but thank you for keeping me company all this time. I'll tell you my acquaintances. I'll tell my acquaintances about you when I get a chance. Goodbye, Cloud. Till we meet again.
D-Man. <clears throat> so, this is finally the end. The abyss of the untapped world. That's it.